have a special request to ask. Um, the Holy Spirit has been on me since Thursday. Y'all bear with me. I might get a little emotional, like I always do. <laughs> um, if you see me visibly shaken, that's the Holy Spirit. Don't think I'm nervous. God's just taking over. My friend Jenna, some of you that come to night service may have uh, heard me ask for prayer for her in many different situations. Um, right now, she has a lot of health problems that are going on. The doctors are trying to tell her this and that, but one thing I do know is that God is the ultimate healer. He is still in the miracle-making business, and that is not done. It's not just in the Bible. That is current in today's world. People just fail to see that. But right now, I know we have a congregation that can feel the sweet spirit of the Holy Spirit in here this morning and, and knows that God can do these things. And so right now, I'm going to do something that I've never done, but the Holy Spirit is leading me to do this. Jenna, I'm going to get you to stand right here, honey. Can you hold this for me? First, I'm going to start with some verses. Isaiah chapter 53, verse 5. But he was pierced through for our transgressions. He was crushed for our inequities. The chastening for our well-being fell upon him, and by his scourging we are healed. Malachi 4.2. But for you who fear my name, the son of righteousness will rise with healing in its wings. You will go forth and skip about like the calves from the stall. Matthew 14, 36. And they implored him that they might just touch the fringe of his cloak. And as many as touched it were cured. Yes. Amen. Luke chapter 8, verse 43, starting with verse 43. And a woman who had a hemorrhage for 12 years could not be healed by anyone, came up behind him and touched the fringe of his cloak, and immediately her hemorrhage stopped. And Jesus said, Who is the one who touched me? And while they were all denying it, Peter said, Master, the people are crowding and pressing in on you. But Jesus said, Someone did touch me, for I was aware that power had gone out of me. When the woman saw that she had not escaped notice, she came trembling and fell down before him and declared in the presence of all the people the reason why she had touched him and how she had been immediately healed. And he said to her daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace. So, this was given to me. It's very special to me. This is... I have prayed over this all night last night. Okay? I'm going to anoint you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. If my prayer warriors please would come around me as we pray for her as a whole. Sweet Jesus, we come before you right now, Lord, acknowledging that you are God, that you are the only one that can heal and that can cure. Father, I come with you with faith beyond measure, Father, knowing that you can heal her right now, no matter what the doctors say, no matter what they say to her, Father, you can heal her. Right. Father, we come together as an assembly. You said where there are two or more, I am there. Father, I feel your spirit coursing through my veins, Jesus. I lay hands upon her. This church lays hands upon her, Father, asking for a miracle. Father, I just pray that you extend her testimony, Jesus. Amen. Let her be able to go and tell people what you did for her, Father. Let her just live for you, Lord. Let her light shine. Let everyone see that only you, Father, can do this. Only you, Father. We acknowledge that. We fall at your feet at the throne, Father, just asking that you would heal this young woman who was so after your own heart, Father. There are so many things that are going on in her life, Lord. I know the devil is trying to attack her each and every way, Father, trying to make her tired, fall down, trip up with all these different things. But, Lord, her eyes are constantly on you. I thank you and I praise you for allowing me to have a friend as good as her. Lord, I just pray for her on her behalf right now, Father, we just all come before you humbly, Father, humbly. We ask for healing upon her life, and not just in health, but in all things, Father. Everything that she is facing right now, we give it to you. We give it to you, Lord. We ask for healing, for peace within her heart, Father. 
I thank you for this assembly that can gather here and praise and worship you, Lord. I'm so thankful for that. We leave it at your feet, Father, and ask you to just take the reins from here and do what you may. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen.